Welcome to Skip's Quick Tips. Today we'll be taking a look at autocorrect and replace in Google Docs. These are features that have been around for a long time and have great possibility for helping students who are slow to type on the keyboard. It's particularly useful uh, with the replace feature for note taking when speed is of utmost importance. Autocorrect is an automatic feature of the word processor that will take an abbreviation or a misspelling in some other products and replace them automatically once a space bar or a punctuation is typed. Replace on the other hand is a manual feature that allows you to program in abbreviations that can be expanded at the end of a writing session or note copying session so that the abbreviations no longer are there. It actually replaces them with a full version of the text which is great because then you have understandable notes uh, at the end. So I'm going to jump ahead in my document here to show you the autocorrect in action. In Google Docs they actually don't have a lot programmed into the software. It's mostly all symbols that are programmed into their substitution feature. So for me as an AT consultant I'm frequently writing about augmentative and alternative communication systems but I rarely type those full words on my my screen. Instead I use the shortcut that I programmed into my word processor. So AAC is the abbreviation we typically use for that. So with the accent mark AAC in the space it replaced it with the full terminology. Now to uh, do this yourself we're going to go to the tools menu and down to preferences and the substitutions are the second hand uh, the right hand side over here so we're just going to replace and I like to use an accent mark because it's not part of an English string and it can't get confused with the word at so I'm going to tell it to replace at hit tab and type assistive technology and OK. So now when I needed to type that into a document I can use my abbreviation instead and hit the period and have that fully formed in the sentence without typing all those letters out. The replace feature is similar but this is actually the tool that's probably most powerful in a note-taking situation. I find it's a good idea when I'm taking notes this way to jot down what my abbreviations are so I'll pull out a post-it note or some scratch paper. Uh, in this case I looked up at the board and saw George Washington was there a number of times. Great Britain was kind of long and the Continental Congress was certainly long. So as I was typing my notes I just typed the abbreviations in. So now what I'll do is I will go into the edit menu and find and replace or I can use control H which I very frequently do because I use this feature a lot and then I simply plug in all those abbreviations now the nice thing about replace is it will replace with a proper capitalization that doesn't happen in autocorrect uh, autocorrect only does lowercase but here I can tell it to capitalize the way it should be and because this abbreviation doesn't appear anywhere else in English I can safely hit replace all and take all of those at once. Do the same thing for Great Britain. Replace all. And Continental Congress. I'm actually going to put the article in there. all done. So now we see at the end after just a couple seconds I've got fully recognized notes. The abbreviations are gone but I saved a lot of time in, in the process. I hope this helps.